from sunny Portugal, you guys. My name is Mackenzie. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. I would love to have you join the fun. Today, I am on my first ever solo trip. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It has been less than two years since I left the country for the first time, and I have been to 21 countries since. Portugal is my 21st, and like I said, my first solo, but I'm not entirely alone. I'm actually spending the week with EF Ultimate Break. If you don't know what EF is, they are a group travel company for people ages 18 to their 30s, and it's an amazing way to see a new place. They handle everything, you guys. I got on a direct flight six and a half hours from Washington DC to Lisbon, hopped in their airport transfer, just checked into my room, and we've got a full itinerary for the week with all kinds of things led by a local guide. We are going to be riding the iconic trolleys, we have a day at the winery, we're going to be going to see the coastline, all kinds of fun things, and I will be meeting so many other solo travelers, which I'm really pumped about. So if you guys are interested in booking this trip or any other EF trips, I will have a a link down below as well as a coupon code so that you guys can save some money if you choose to purchase thank you big time to the EF trip for sending me here this has been one of my dream partnerships for as long as I can remember so I'm super stoked Just dropped my bags got changed out of my airport clothes and I'm getting ready to go explore with some of the other people that are here we're still waiting on a couple flights to get here okay really quick here's what I'm wearing my outfits this week are so bomb you guys I'm really excited to show you this vest is from the brand commence my trouser pants are lightweight linen, amazing business casual bottom, but also great if you are looking for a good European summer pant. They are the Livy from Hollister. These sandals I bring on every single Europe trip. I actually have them in three different colors. I wear them all the time. They're from Dolce Vita and are super comfortable. I have really flat feet, as you guys know, so I actually don't mind being in sandals for like five to ten miles of walking a day. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. Earrings are from Shein. Glasses are from Boo and then I'm gonna be carrying this bag from Shiralea. So let me give you a quick little room tour and then let's get after I it. just checked in to my room with EF Ultimate Break. You can choose to share a room or you can upgrade to have a room of your own. And we've got the classic European style beds. Got a nice big window, which means that I actually have tons of natural light in here, which I am super happy about, and a full length mirror. If you guys have ever been to Europe, then you know that it is rare to have a room with a full length, and I'm so happy because now I can get some good outfit of the day photos in the morning each day. Got a nice big closet, and then I've got a true European bathroom. This type of shower that's like more of a box is super common here, and they are much more sustainable here you, the lights and the air conditioning only work when your key is in this little slot so that's why it's off right now but it looks super nice I'm excited for a week here and actually really looking forward to being in one destination for a full week that way I don't have to worry about packing up my suitcase and moving to the next spot like you're exploring this little flea market that's happening right down the street from our hotel it happens every Sunday, the locals said, and there's all kinds of trinkets. They've got souvenirs, they've got jewelry, lots of like old antiques and stuff like that too. I love this seashell necklace. This is what I thought Portugal would be like, cute, colorful fashions for like $40, you can't beat Europe prices. Every time I'm in Europe, I restart the magnet collection. Alrighty. Hand drawn by Sancha. Come see her at the market every first, and or every second and fourth Sunday. Wow. <laughs> Come see her. My poached egg kick is continuing, guys. I got, these ones are like toasted with Parmesan and avocado toast. This is ham, I'm thinking I maybe should have swapped it for the bacon, but it looks good. Look at these pancakes. Oh my god, they have like jelly in the middle. So the rest of my crew went back to their hotel room and I wanted to venture off. So I took a $5 Uber into the city center. I wanted to grab some pictures. I have the tripod with me, but I was kind of nervous. And this sweet girl just asked me to take her picture. So then I was like, can you take a few of me? And we got a good one. I'll leave it here. Say hi. Hi, guys. Tell them your name. From? My name is Chuba. I'm from the UK, originally from Nigeria. So fun. We just had a great photo taking session right outside. It's beautiful over here. The 
just did my postcard pickup. Portugal is known for all of their tiling. I got a few. I'm sure I'll find more throughout the week, but I think I'm gonna send some mail here. I am strong when I and I you guys to be exploring Europe by myself on a Sunday afternoon never ever ever in a million years thought that this would be my life but it is and I owe all that to you guys thank you thank you thank you I just some of this came back to my room really quick to drop off my tripod and the postcards that I bought today and grabbing a quick swig of water I am about to head down to the lobby. Everybody is here now and we are having a meeting, a little walking hour, and then we're having a welcome dinner with the whole crew. I think there's about 20 of us here. Everyone that I've met so far has been so nice, so I'm excited to meet the rest of the crew. Oldest bookstore in the world, 1732. The Nata, it's our most famous food. Like, of all kinds of food, pastel de nata is the more popular, and it has won the best pastry in the world. Okay, we are with the whole group, and we're having a little walking tour moment. We are actually right in the exact same area that I Ubered to earlier, but I'm really glad that I came here by myself because I was able to pop in and out of a bunch of stores, get my postcards, like wander and take pictures, whereas right now we're kind of trying to keep up with the group. But it's so cute here and I'm getting so many compliments on this outfit, it's unreal. is going down it is stunning this bridge we've got a cotton candy sky going we are at a restaurant called dove we're having our family dinner got a glass of sangria and steak we've got some people with veggie pasta a couple other burritos it looks good we've got just french fries plain what happened was the my gosh you guys I am freaking exhausted we've got a great group of people here there's like 15 girls I think and three guys and everybody has been so friendly so far just walked around the city center for a little bit with our guide had the wine like you guys saw and then we just had a nice welcome dinner just chatting and it was really great it is 10 o'clock right now which means it is currently 6 p.m. in Maryland and I am exhausted you guys I slept for like two and a half hours on the plane last night I did not sleep very well so I'm excited to pass out we are going on a walking tour tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. which means it is time to head good morning everybody it is day two here in Portugal slept like a baby literally from 10 30 p.m. until 8 15 in the morning I still feel like I could have probably slept for another three hours but we're ready and up and at them to go have a walking tour this is gonna be from 9 to 12 30 so I've got my walking shoes on. These are my platform Adidas Gazelles. If you know me, wearing sneakers in Europe is a big deal. I usually am very much a sandal girl, so I'm trying today. My jumpsuit is from Skies Are Blue. My bag is from the brand Patusa. Clip is from Shein. And then my necklaces are from Kendra Scott. I will have all of my Europe outfits on my LTK, so I'll leave that linked down below for you guys. I actually ended up skipping breakfast in the hotel and I'm having a protein bar that I brought from home. These built bars, I just started trying. They're so good. 17 grams of protein in this little thing and hardly any sugar. All right, let's have a day. Dressed up like that, any guesses, any ideas what was her job? 
A prostitute. You'll be able to see that even better if you're doing it with me around 10 years ago. Chão do Loureiro. That's where we are right now? That's where we are right now. We are on a walking tour with a local guide right now and we are in the neighborhood Alfama, which is where a lot of locals live. It's also where you see all the local tiles and it is beautiful over here. Can anyone care to guess how many minutes lasted the earthquake in Lisbon? Six minutes. Let's play the prices right a bit more than six minutes. Eight. Ding, ding, ding. Washing machine. Woo! We just wrapped up our walking tour and obviously my first stop of the day needed to be getting a gelato. We're at a place called Moo Gelato and Cafe and you know it's authentic because all the gelato is hidden in these tins. And I am getting a scoop of strawberry and lemon, my all time favorite, in a cone. My first one of the trip, I refrained yesterday. We are exploring and I just wanted to tell you guys how much I like Portugal. I had no idea what to expect. I got invited on this trip very last minute. So I wasn't, I didn't really do a lot of research prior, um, but they say it's like the San Francisco of Europe and it's so true. It's so, it's so adorable here. Everywhere you turn. Okay, we Ubered over to Time Out Market, which reminds me so much of the Central Market in Florence. Basically, you have this huge building that has tons of different like vendors and each vendor is like a different type of food. So there's Thai, there's burgers, there's hot dogs, there's fish, there's donuts, sweet treats of every type and I'm really excited to see. Obviously I had my gelato as a little free appetizer sweet treat but I'm definitely hungry and excited to see what we can get ourselves into. I also made the sweetest friend from our EF group this morning. Her name's Alexa and she's been hanging out with me and she's with me right now. We Ubered over here together and we're just having lots of fun. All right, Portugal is known for their codfish. So I got fish and chips. And look at it, these are the tiniest shoestring french fries you've ever seen. I got it from that place right there. Had a lovely afternoon exploring with my new friend. We made a quick pit stop back at the hotel. I didn't have the time to show you guys, but I ended up changing my outfit into this cute crochet set from Princess Polly. We're doing like a sunset catamaran right now, and it's a little chilly, so I have my denim jacket. I've got some funny earrings on, swap sunglasses. I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be like a little catamaran sale, and I'm making so many friends. So this is perfect. I know I've been like kind of not super chatty, but it's easier when I'm on this type of trip to just kind of show you guys clips and to fill you in later. Same size boat as our catamaran in the Bahamas. Same exact layout as far as the bedrooms and stuff go. Obviously that area is ripped off, but super cool. This is like awesome. They've got snacks for us and four drinks a piece was included in our rate. You can go in. And it was $55 a person, so not bad. Yep, I was made for this, you guys. There is their bridge, actually designed by the same person that did the Golden Gate, and it is just stunning outside. We've got a gorgeous sun going down, some free wine, and we're just hanging out, having the best time here on the boat. That's just the way that it goes. We just got off our boat, and we are wandering over to La Factory. Victoria, La Factory, and uh, supposedly this is a great spot to go out to get dinner, to get drinks, and we're with all of our friends. Everybody's a little tipsy after their boat, boat experience. The rest of the crew went to the bathroom. We went to get our girl spritzes. Do you kill us in? Cheers. Como they say cheers? One now. Hello. My 
quesadilla was literally amazing you guys like so so good i also got guacamole and it was okay um but the quesadilla was like literally amazing it was pork and pineapple and the pineapple was so flavorful like holy cow i just loved this set too super cute we had the loveliest sale i had such a great great day like such a great day um it's 9 30 right now i'm getting ready to take a shower i'm gonna post some instagram stories before i go to bed and then i'm gonna pass out because tomorrow we have a long day 8 30 a.m to 8 30 p.m we are going to be getting on a bus and driving about two hours to a different city. We're gonna have a little bit of a tour there, go on a winery day, have dinner over there, and it's gonna be the whole group, little tour action, and I'm really excited. So, I will catch you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. We are off to the winery. I am wearing Princess Polly dress, Dolce Vita sandals, um, Gigi Pip, hat this is like my all-time favorite hat my hair is just like really dirty so it needed to be in a hat today so perfect day to wear this earrings are my favorite little butterflies from Shein and then I'm gonna carry this same straw bag today and then I'm also going to bring my denim jacket that just fell off the chair um, because we are gonna be gone from 8 30 a.m. to 8 30 p.m. so I know it's gonna end up getting chilly we just had about a two-hour bus ride over to the town of Evora which is outside of Lisbon and we are spending the next two and a half hours exploring here we have a local guide that's gonna be taking us around and it's beautiful so far much quieter much more local less touristy. We are about to enter there main church which is beautiful a mix of gothic and moorish styles you find quesada here and you find it also uh, in Sindra for example and there every town does their own style this is quesada of Evora um, it has lactose so I have an alternative for the lactose we just got out of our walking tour we have about an hour and a half of free time and me and my girl Alexa just decided to come up to the top of this castle four dollars euros only and you get to see a whole view of the city it's so beautiful up here i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys but definitely worth it all right we were just on the outside and now we are on the inside of that cathedral and it's just stunning in here for such a small town, I'm like so amazed by how ornate everything is here. Hi everyone, we are in Montserrat. This is the castle and then we're gonna have a wine tasting. And what are we looking at the river? This is the Tagus River and on the other side of the river we have Spain. So we're all the way east. We're all the way to the most eastern part of Portugal from where we started. It's beautiful. And uh, people spend several days here just going from one area winery to winery to winery. Yeah. We've got the inside of the castle. Sophia said that this inside is usually packed full of tourists, but because it is March right now, it's not super busy, but it's still gorgeous outside, like 68, 70 degrees. Any question here about the story or something? Do you want to know something more? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is the uh, rosé, the wine of the yeah. family, they said. I think it's my favorite. I like rosé. I, I hear you. Sophia, how do you pronounce the name of this winery? Ervideira. Okay. It's like you say things, I don't even remotely, my mouth doesn't even remotely know how to like repeat that. One more time. Ervideira. 
We tried six different wines. We finished off with a dessert wine, and now you go downstairs and you get to try a full glass, and you can buy your wine there. So we're having our last one, taking some pictures, just enjoying the view. Very cute terrace up here. I really liked it. Alrighty team, it is 8 o'clock. We just got back to our hotel and we are actually having a group dinner tonight that was arranged by EF and it's in about 30 minutes, so a little bit later of the night, but I'm excited to have an evening with the whole crew. I'm so happy that we came back to the hotel because I really just want to change into something a little comfier, so I'm throwing on linen pants and just a tank top it's definitely cooled off a little bit as well i'm going to keep this denim jacket but i just wanted to get out of this dress super cute served me well today i'm just in the mood to like be in pants if that makes sense okay here's my dinner fit these are not sweats they're actually like a linen trouser from abercrombie black top is from boohoo so glad i brought this denim jacket because i'm definitely getting its use but I'm giving my ears a break. They've been kind of tired from wearing clip-ons every day. So off to get dinner. I'm hoping it's yummy. <laughs> potatoes and veggies. I, I thought I heard lamb too though. It looks very interesting. We're gonna give it a try. Okay, tonight's dinner spot was very interesting because it was a Fado restaurant and Fado is basically a type of song that is sung at certain restaurants and the whole restaurant is like quiet, silent while someone sings and a couple of people play instruments and it's like very loud Portuguese music it's like very grand as you guys saw and you're just like served your meal throughout we had conch fritters and then pork and potatoes and then a chocolate mousse I really love Portugal the only thing I will say is that I haven't been super in love with the food it's definitely a different like meat and seafood palette than I'm used to my Quesadilla was great, my cod fish and chips were good, but nothing has like knocked my socks off the way that a steak in France or a pasta dish in Italy has done for me in the past. It was still fun, very interesting experience, definitely um, more of a local type of thing. So fun, it is midnight now, we just got home from dinner and I am pooped, I am ready to take a shower, I'm gonna wash my hair and head to bed. Good morning everybody, feeling extra colorful this morning. My skirt is from Princess Polly, top is from Princess Polly. They're actually not um, a set. They're not meant to be a set, but they're the exact same material, exact same color. So they look perfect together. Very cutesy, perfect for Euro summer. My Sunny's hat, bag, and clip, all Shein accessories. And then I'm wearing Kendra Scott earrings, Kendra Scott necklace, and Target shoes. I've been getting lots of questions on my TikToks since I've been here being like, do you need a jacket there? Like I'm going soon or I'm going to Europe. Like what's the verdict? The verdict is that you don't really need to wear a jacket, but it feels good to have a jacket draped over your shoulders, um, especially in the mornings. So we're seeing a castle today. This is a coastal town supposedly, and it's very colorful. Our tour director, Sophia said, which of course I'm very excited about, so. Have a day. Yeah. The outside of this palace is insane, you guys. Look at all of the tile and the ornate detailing on it. It's super colorful. They've got a terrace rooftop restaurant, and you've got a beautiful panoramic view of the city. The inside of the palace was a palace. The outside of it is insane. Beautiful views of the forest. We are walking along this very narrow path around one of the highest points and you get a 360 view of the city. It's very cool. Wow, just keeps going. My girl Alexa making sure that I get the shot. She's been the 
best photographer ever. You guys know I was having a lot of anxiety coming into this about that in specific, and we've been doing so good so far. Insert this photo. All right, we had lots of fun exploring Penna Palace. We are off to the town of Sintra right now to have a coffee break and to grab a souvenir. Anosa! Bought postcards the other day, but I always like buying the watercolor kind. And in this cute little town, this lady had many of them. And they're also like the Polaroid type, which I really like. Alexa collects um, ornaments. So we're picking up her one as well. What's the name of your store? Pardon? The What's name? the name of the store? Trust. Trust? Come sure. see them at Trust. Lots of good souvenirs here. I really like these coasters. It reminded me that I bought a set when I was in Morocco. They're somewhere in the basement waiting for me to move. But they have so many cute ones Where since the tile is so popular. just had a gorgeous like 30 minute drive along the coast and now we are in the town of Cascai. Cus don't quote me on that. <laughs> and it's really cute here. There's lots of like hotels and resorts. It's very coastal over here. We're gonna see the ocean. We're gonna shop around. Grab some lunch. It's already 1.45 and I'm super excited. Excited to see what we can get ourselves into. All right, we ventured off and are sitting down at a restaurant, which we just really honestly haven't done on our own yet. We're at a place called Porto di Mare, and we got Caprese because I really desperately wanted tomatoes and a veggie. <laughs> I ordered what was supposed to be a pesto buffalo mozzarella pizza. Unfortunately, it just came without the pesto, but it's okay. And Alexa got shrimp with like, it was supposed, I thought it was red sauce, but it's more like, it's like, a, it's like a pinky sauce. Peppery and uh, garlicky. It looks good though. Tomato My favorite pastime. I feel like in every vlog I've been riding the carousel. We had to hop on. It was only two euros. I'm on the giraffe. Guys, I haven't introduced you to Alexa properly. We met, well obviously on this tour. But the other day, we started talking, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just love you. She was wearing free people uh, overalls. And we started talking, and we are ele we have an 11 year age gap, yes. but that's so me and Jules. <laughs> I was like, you're like my favorite person, and I could just hang out with you, and we've been hanging out all week. Yeah, it's been so fun. And she just took an awesome photo for me here, again, so I'll insert it here, and we've just had a great day. Um, there's a little less to do here than we, Expected, anticipated. anticipated in this little area. I wish we would have had more time in the town that we were in like two minutes ago in this vlog, but it's okay. You can't win them all. And these few colorful houses though that we found have all of the tile that's super pretty, so. Hello everybody. We are back at the hotel. I just sat down and submitted some content for two brands and like spent an hour just replying to some emails because I've been very MIA out of the office. And I just changed it into something a little bit comfier slash warmer for the evening. My blouse is from Petal and Pup. Pants are from Princess Polly. Saison belt. Still rocking the denim jacket because it's definitely cool out in the evenings here. And I'm about to head out and wander. I want to ride the 28 tram. And I found a restaurant called Rocco that I want to go to tonight. It looks really good. I found it on TikTok and I'm like in desperately needing like a great meal here to finish off the trip. I'm starting off solo right now and then I think Alexa's is going to meet me out. So I came over to Brandy Melville first because usually they have like the best graphic tees for a place that you're going and I'm loving Lisbon that I would totally get a t-shirt from here. They don't have anything that says Lisbon or Portugal on it which I'm really bummed about but you know me like my favorite thing to do when I'm in Europe is get something from Brandy 
I'm trying to find like another cute underwear bra set because that's usually my fave. I loved these pink linen shorts with this pink cami, but I knew that I would wear this set more, so I ended up just getting some of their cotton underwear. They have the best like bedtime undies. And then I have this bra in blue and white and I wear it all the time like around the house, under t-shirts, when I'm going to bed. And this was like half the price, so. I know it's unoriginal, but I love getting my brand new sets when I'm here, so. I had to make my way over to the oldest bookstore in Portugal. They have a huge English selection here, like the store in general is big. But I feel like it's a rite of passage to buy a book here. Um, I loved Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I've been reading a lot of like cheesy romance and I need something good, enticing, thriller-ish to get me through, so I think I'm gonna go. mushroom risotto I was just craving risotto you guys the fries here are so great we just got another round of lemon shell spritz I'm so happy to tell you guys that you should go eat at Rocco we had such a good good 10 out of 10 dining experience tonight vibes were amazing my food probably wasn't a 10 it was like a probably an eight and a half how was yours you just had a Caesar good. salad. I had a Caesar salad. So like how bad could it be? It was so good. But we had a, such a good experience. We had a great time. Like great, great vibes. Highly suggest. We are meeting our group for a cocktail now at Pink Pink Street. Good morning everybody. I am getting ready right now. We had such a great night last night. Um, we just had one drink at this bar and we met up with a bunch of other people from EF and it was really fun. But a great night. Um, anyways, I'm getting ready right now. And I am like, nothing puts your makeup routine to the test quite like a full day in Europe. Like, it is 7.15 right now and I'm doing my makeup. And I'm going to be wearing this makeup until probably midnight. Maybe a little bit earlier. Maybe a little bit later. But like, give or take, like, almost 16, 17 hours. And my makeup, honestly, like I will feel, obviously my makeup will have seeped into some of my finer lines by the end of the day, but my makeup will look pretty much the exact same at the end of the day as it does right now. And as I'm getting ready, I'm like, wow, that's such a testament to these products and this routine. I've had the pretty much for the most part, the same makeup routine since I was like a freshman in college, but I recently switched back to an old favorite foundation and the combination of the sunscreen, the primer, and the foundation that I'm using right now is doing wonders for me. Um, as far as like longevity goes, the Super Goop sunscreen and then a layer of the e.l.f. primer, poreless putty primer, and then this foundation, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. This is drugstore foundation. It's not a heavy foundation, but it is a very full coverage foundation and it lasts all day. Like it never is not matte and that is so hard to come by in a foundation. I need to do like an updated makeup routine. Um, and then with the stay matte, Rimmel stay matte powder over top, like that combo is just, it's so good. Today we have a free day. Alexa and another friend from the trip, Yanni and I, are going to Nazare, which is a beach where they have the biggest waves in the world. A um, hundred foot waves. The swell, our waiter last night said, is not like fully swelling. I don't know if that's the correct term right now. Um, so they're not going to be as big. It ends in like February. But he... That period is usually from December to February, he said. But 
we still wanted to see it, explore the beach town, grab lunch, just kind of, you know, do the same thing that we've been doing for the last few days. So, and then tonight we have a like goodbye dinner all together at 8 p.m. And then tomorrow we leave. I've got a 11 a.m. flight back home. I can't believe how fast this week went. And it's such a reminder that like a time does not wait for you. And it also just does not stand still. The time is going to pass regardless. So you might as well just book the trip and go and experience it. If you wait for the right time, you'll be waiting your own. This life. outfit is so far out of my comfort zone, but I feel like a badass. Like I feel so chic. It's unbelievable. And the whole, the whole accessory situation is from Shein. I've never done this like type of hair scarf, but I like it a lot. Um, white linen shirt is from Fortunate One, denim mini skirt, Hollister, same bag. It's a little chilly right now, so I'm carrying my sweater. I know I'm going to be cold for this next couple of hours just because it's early right now, but it is supposed to be like 68, 70 degrees today, and this outfit was too good to bring. Every single time that I've taken a Flix bus in this lifetime, it's been a learning experience and a lesson. Today's lesson is that even leaving the house um, 50 minutes in advance isn't enough, you guys. We missed our bus, but it's okay because it was only $5 and we just booked the next one, which is gonna be in an, another hour. But it's okay, it happens. Everybody's looking at me like a crazy person because it's cold outside and I'm dressed like this and everybody, like everybody around us is wearing a puffer jacket. <laughs> And I'm just wearing sandals and a mini skirt, but it's fine. I'm dressing for the weather I want. We made it. We had about an hour and a half bus ride. It's definitely dreary out, and there's a little less to do here than we expected, but we're still making the most of it. Gonna pop down, get something to eat, and just walk in and out of some of these shops, maybe head up to the cliffs to try to see some of the waves. We've got one main strip of shops, and there's a few seafood restaurants mixed in. Lots of linens here, like lots of tablecloths, napkins, things like that. There's so many cute embroidered ones here. The city with the greatest waves in the world. 100 foot waves happen here. It's off season right now, but lots of cute magnets and merch. I ordered a strawberry banana crepe. I was like, I kind of want something sweet and kind of healthy. Didn't know that it came with two pounds of whipped cream and instead of Nutella, it's actually chocolate sauce. But you know, it, it looks good, so. We just paid $2 to enter the fort. Usually where we're standing, there'll be like 100 foot waves crashing into this, but today they're only six to eight feet tall. Nothing else matters. No. All it turns out we did not need the whole day in Nazareth. Um, if it was warm enough to sit out on the beach, then like absolutely would have loved to have a full day there. But we went in and out of the shops, we saw the wave, little lookout area. If it's not warm enough, there's not really a whole lot more to do there. So we took the earlier bus back. It was definitely cold for a mini skirt, so I'm actually gonna change into my long maxi skirt right now. Cute. I'm we made it on the tram. It's not the 28 because it was taking too long, but we thought it would be fun just to ride around for a little bit. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, this place is called Landu. Lando, they have world famous chocolate cake, so that's what we're having as a little sweet treat snack. I'm so not a cake person, but I really like that. I see that's why. Wow, I like that. If you're coming to Portugal, you gotta hit the stair stepper a few months in advance. Because everything is majorly uphill slash lots of stairs. The only place that I've been that's this hilly is San Francisco. We are eating at this restaurant tonight with the group called Newbie and it is right next to their bridge. My guess is that all these people were here watching the sunset, because we had a pretty view on the water the other night. So. What is it's it? A mix of, it's a mix of cheeses that are cooked in the oven inside the bread, and you just have the little toast and put some cheese on it, or you start uh, tearing the bread, the bread apart. Aaron and I loved yeah, this like cheese bread, it was so good. I got spaghetti tonight. What? 
We've got some interesting dishes going on. Codfish. When cheesecake to finish off our night. <laughs> Guys, our amazing guide, Sophia, just surprised us at our like end of dinner. And she got all of us these little magnets, handmade, and she wrote with love. Sophia and they're like handmade ceramics. No two are alike in the city. Mine's just a blue M with little butterflies. And it's so random because I keep using the butterfly emoji while I've been here and I never ever use it. And I was like, that's so thoughtful. And she also got us bookmarks and wrote us little handwritten notes. Sweetest thing. I cannot recommend this trip enough, you guys. Book, book with her. It was so good. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, March 22nd, and I am off to the airport. I have had the best trip, you guys. I am so glad that I chose to do this by myself. I almost said no because I didn't have a plus one and I'm so grateful that I just did it and took the chance I had such an amazing week. Our director was incredible. Our schedule was great The itinerary like really suited me I really enjoy group travel because I like being shuffled to like the next activity if that makes sense Like I like a full day and I like when someone tells me What is the best thing to do and then I have like free time to explore and eat and take pictures um, almost like with a set time that really works well for me i loved that about bus to alps when i studied abroad and this kind of just feels like an adult version of that also a great way to meet new friends maybe if you don't have people that you can travel with like this is and you want to travel you're afraid to do it by yourself this is like such a good way to do so um so yeah i will leave a booking link to this down below but my coupon code actually works for a hundred dollars off your first trip no matter where you go um i actually was just invited to greece with them I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to make the dates work, but very exciting. So, amazing week. Thank you guys for following along. We'll have blog posts um, with all the outfit details, recommendations, itinerary up very soon. So, stay tuned. I love you guys. I've got a nine-hour flight ahead of me, and I'm about to sign off. So, love you. Thank you for watching.